one thing I've learned after living off grid for 10 years is you take nothing for granted. If you want to have electricity, you've got to get up and clean the solar panels and get the leaves off of them. And that's the price you pay for not being tied to the power grid 24-7, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, and getting billed for it whether you're using it or not. I, only, I can only use the power that I uh, generate with the solar panels, so if I overextend myself, I end up sitting in the dark for a while until they recharge. But uh, that's not going to be a problem today. It's going to be a sunny day, and we're going to clean these solar panels up and get some sunshine on them and charge up the battery banks. We've had a couple days of rain, and uh, it's time to, time to work on some projects. Another thing you don't take for granted is... Uh, I heard a saying one time for a, a man that carries his own water knows the value of the water. And let me tell you, I've been carrying my own water for 10 years. Um, I have a well, but you have to put it into a bucket and carry it to where you want it to go. So we're going to try to solve that problem today. I've got a 40 gallon water tank uh, that we're going to install in the bus and uh, get rid of my uh, previously installed five gallon bucket system under the kitchen counter. Um, it's just. Uh, it's just a lot of excess work carrying five gallon buckets uh, up the stairs of the bus. So I think I'd like to have a capacity to hold 40 gallons and we're gonna use the same electric water pump and everything, uh, same basic system. We're just gonna make it larger and then stuff it under the front of the bed. So anyway, hang on and we'll get started. And uh, I hope everybody's enjoying your day. It probably looks strange, me cutting a hole on the top of a brand new water tank. But uh, anybody that knows me, the reason I use the five gallon buckets uh, with the water pump and nose under the sink is because I like to be able to open up my water tanks and clean them out when needed because they just, they just get dirty and I don't like things that I can't reach inside of and clean so that's what we're doing. We're going to cut a, cut a big hole in the top of this water tank and then put a uh, put a clean out port on it so I can actually uh, get in there and clean this thing out, which it needs it already because it's been sitting inside the cabin and uh, all kinds of nastiness has uh, fallen down inside of it. So anyway, we're going to put a clean out on it so I always know that my water is clean coming out of it. And if it's not, it can be, be cleaned pretty easy. So anyway. Need to add a bulkhead fitting to the top of the tank so I could uh, put the hose to it and have it run over to the sink. I'm using the non pressurized system, so uh, the little ports on the side of it really don't do me any good. I just block those off and uh, drill a hole down here and fit it with my own bulkhead fitting. And on the bottom of that uh, will be just a hose. Uh, and at the bottom of the hose will be the electric water pump. 
just like dropping a pump into the bucket, the five gallon bucket, except it'll have a 40 gallon reservoir to feed from, so gotta get that out of the way. Under the bunk where I'm putting this water tank is where my diesel heater used to live. And this is just a uh, floor mount plate off of a diesel heater. I'm making it oversized because I want to cover up the holes where the exhaust and the intake uh, came out originally. And so I'm just going to cut off a piece of uh, steel because I want something flat. I don't want to run a bunch of screws in there and uh, have anything that's going to end up uh, hurting the water tank. So I'll. Uh, Cut this oversized with a big pair of tin snips. You don't always have to use the grinder. Tin snips work great sometimes, and, and they're a lot quieter and a lot less chance of getting getting uh, sparks or anything in your eyes. So anyway, but then uh, I'll seal this up with some uh, silicone caulk and then just stick it on the floor over top of the hole. And then when the water tank goes in it, it's it's all the weight that it'll ever need to. Uh, 300 some pounds of water I'm sure will keep it in place so I just want to just want to cover that hole up and not have anything that's going to rub the bottom of the tank rain on me. And just like that, there's a water tank where there wasn't one. It's a perfect fit.
I'm pretty happy with it. I just need to plumb it up and get the pass through to the outside of the bus so we can fill it up from the outside now. All right, so what I'm thinking is I think that'll probably, those water pipes come up right behind this wall right there. And I'm thinking, I kind of like that. I'll try to mark a square on there so it's And that's our hole right there. Got a whole other, whole other layer in there. Well, I knew school buses were built tough, but <laughs> apparently they're, in 81 they were built extremely tough. Alright, we're going to step up to a, to a, uh, a bigger drill here. If you guys can see all that. We'll use a smaller bit now. Heavier duty drill.
as hard as I thought it would be. Alrighty. Alright, I don't have any hose clamps to fit this small one. So I'm gonna show you what I do. It's a pretty tight fit, but this is just the vent line coming up from the tank, so there won't ever be any pressure on it, but just want to hold it in place. I just take a piece of wire. This is a little thick, but it just happened to be what I had. Wrap that around it. The camera's in a bad spot. That's that's as far as that particular tripod will raise. Will be easier with a little bit thinner wire, but just making a making a loop with it. Stick it over top. Bring that up. Stick that on there. Do it up here where it's not in the way. Now, I'm just going to take my pliers and grab that. I'm going to grab both of those and just, just give it a couple twists. And that won't that won't be coming off there. So, and it should hide back in the back in the wall. Okay. Now, it goes like that. All right, camera battery went dead. But I had to clamp this for the uh, field one, so I'm just going to shove this in here. Oops, I want to put some silicone in. Let's make sure it fits okay. Yeah, that's going to fit just fine. So, I'm going to get some silicone and seal that up. Actually, I think I can just get smart and do it right here. All right, I left a little gap here in case water does get in or it spills out a little bit. I don't want it to run inside the bus. I'd rather it run, run outside of the bus. So we're going to stick, stick this back in. And it looks good. And we're going to run some screws in there. Right, these are self-tapping, so should not need pilot holes. I forgot about that big steel plate back there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay.
you get one of these on if you know but these top hinges are just spring loaded on these uh, doors you can you can take them off fairly easy to work I'll be careful not to launch the, the pin somewhere out in the orbit. There. It's full of water. All right. No big deal. I like the fact that it locks though, it keeps somebody from maybe putting something in your in your water tank when you're gone. Not that you couldn't really get that open really easy, I'm sure. But anyway, Valterra. It's a Valterra door, access door, pass-through door. I'll put a link to it down in the description in case you guys are wanting to do the same thing. It was really inexpensive. So yeah. Alrighty. And this is for non-pressurized non-city water system so this is for pretty much on demand which is what i have all right hitting on there hitting on the little bring there there we go all right good deal so like this is where the water tank sits right back behind here and i got rid of this old electrical pass-through, man, a big gaping hole. Uh, bugs and, and mice were able to climb up in there. And I replaced, only thing that needs to come through is the, the cable. This is for my, my cell phone uh, booster, my Wii Boost. So I just kind of cut a new piece of metal to go over the hole and put this little pass-through in there from, uh, I think it says Furion. So it's for a TV, but it works fine for the Wii Boost. And uh, anyway, so now the the reason there's extra line out here is because the antenna mass is not extended all the way. It needs this for full extension. But uh, when I drop that down, hang on. So when I drop the antenna mass down, I can just roll up this uh, cable and hook it from here and just slide it up inside or leave it in the bumper mount either way. But anyway, it makes it easy. So, so anyway, that's that. Well, I thought I'd get rid of this this thing because these power cords are well actually this is not plugged to anything it just runs it was running in the front of the bus i needed to use uh run the uh jumper uh battery charger uh off the solar off the power inverter to charge up the bus batteries the other day uh, under the hood because they're not they're not joined in with the uh house batteries they're separate and then this is for my uh this cord here goes powers up my uh my well pump uh that's i've got a well it's got a electric pump 60 feet down so anyway i run that off the power inverter as well so anyway and the the power drills and grinder those were running off the inverter so totally totally unplugged i'm just running off of uh, what what the sun charges me up with so anyway thought i'd share that all right gang anyway that's it for me um it's awful cluttered on the inside all i've got left to do inside is to swap my water pump from the five gallon bucket uh, under the sink which you can see in previous videos uh, what i had set up and just drop it through that bulkhead connector that I put on top of the uh, water tank um, and drop the pump down in there. When I flip the switch, it'll still, it'll, I have to run a new water line from the pump to the faucet because I don't think the old one's long enough. But, but that's pretty cut, cut and dry. So any questions, let me know. But that should, should hopefully do it. So anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to try to get this edited and uploaded sometime soon. Um, but anyway, God bless everybody. Have a great day. Give me a thumbs up if you like the videos. Uh, if you find any, any value in what I'm doing, uh, you know, give me a you know, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can join us over on Patreon and hang out. Uh, lots of content over there that's not up on the regular YouTube channel. Um, so, hey, come on. Come on out and, and join us. And we'll see you guys on the next video. God bless everybody.